Life is like a railway station, Stevie said. The train of birth brings us in. The train of death will carry us away. All aboard for a trip to the suburbs. Nice and early. Utterly exhausted. Worn to a frazzle. Well, the kettle's on. I make a pot of tea. Anything to eat? Battenberg cake and some ginger nuts. How lovely. Give me a coat. Anything happened today? No, no. Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> I think when I'm asked at the Day of Judgment what I remember best, what has ruled my entire life, I shall say being tired. Too tired for words. I've been at the BBC recording a story. I don't know why I bothered. It was a complete waste of time. The producers seemed to have quite a different idea about the story from mine, and we got more and more at cross purposes. And a Mr. Hall, who was sitting on the floor listening, said he couldn't make head or tail of it. Head or tail of what? This is my aunt. Who are you talking about? Oh, his name was Mr. Hall. Had a tale of what? This short story I'd written. Oh, poor man. I know how he felt. <laughs> <laughs> I call her the Lion of Hull. She looks very lion-like, don't you think? The dress is new, by the way. It reminds me of one of those seed packets. You know, Carter's Tested Seeds. I call it Every One Came Up. Where are my glasses, Peggy? In the fruit bowl. All these books, just look at them. Not a literary person, thank God. I've never seen so much stuff and nonsense in all my life.
stupid kitchen tap needs a new washer. Darn they should take it. Mm. Where's my cushion? Hmm? Oh, it's here. Sorry. Hey, you can never find anything in this house. Mm. Smart writing people think it's not at all chic to live in the suburbs with an aunt, but I don't care what they think. I've never cared about chic things, fashion and so on. What does it matter? I love aunt and aunt loves me. That's what really matters. Indeed, dear. Thank you, darling. Good. Mm. Mm. 